So, welcome on module 3 and this is our aerodynamics in blast furnace part 3 and here we will discuss the flooding phenomena. Flooding basically is a very important phenomena in the uh, wet zone of the blast furnace. Basically just like here the channeling take place in the dry zone and the flooding is a phenomena in the wet zone where basically the liquid is pushed off in the low temperature region low temperature solid granular region above the cohesive zone and uh, this liquid may solidify form an arch and they can restrict the gas flow totally. So, that condition is called the hanging and blast furnace refuses to accept the air at that condition. So, anyway this is called the flooding and the hanging and this is what we will discuss in this lecture. Yeah, concept clear covered is basically the liquid hold up and the flooding. What do we mean by basically in a packed bed, what happens if you have a solid bed and liquid is coming from the top, gas is moving from the bottom, then the phenomena take place is called the holding, this is the liquid holding because after a certain gas velocity, liquid cannot flow at a steady state. That is the whatever the liquid coming in, all the liquid cannot come down because of resistance and then liquid start hold up. And this goes on up to certain process and then the whole the bed become occupied by the liquid and further increase in the velocity gives the flooding. Okay. So, that is the liquid hold up and flooding that we will discuss and the flooding mechanism in the blast furnace why, why, how the flooding take place and the flooding limit. And this mechanism is basically yeah. Now, liquid hold up and the flooding in a pack bed. Let us first consider the pack bed in chemical engineering. Several work has been done, a lot of research has been done, studied on the liquid hold up. We will just consider a very simple system. Um, let us consider a solid fixed bed where the liquid is coming from the top and gas is moving up through the bed. And this is some conditions here. I have just drawn it very lucidly. You can see the liquid is coming from the top and this is the packed bed where solid is packed in this bed. It is a fixed bed basically. The solid are fixed in position and the liquid is coming from the top and the gas is moving up. Okay. So, this is the situation. So, what will happen under, so when the velocity that under normal condition basically when uh, your gas velocity is not basically under steady state what will happen whatever the liquid you are giving same amount of liquid will come out. Okay? So, in and out on the steady state situation will be there. But if you go on increasing the gas velocity, if you increase the gas velocity what will happen that the frictional that is the gas liquid frictional force basically gas is moving or liquid is coming the friction after some time may be little high and then it may not allow all the liquid to come through. So, liquid whatever the liquid is coming in same amount of liquid may not come out from the bottom because a part of the liquid may start accumulating into the bed that is shown by the red line. So, a part of the liquid is being accumulated into the bed because whatever the liquid is uh, coming from the top all are not being able to come through the bottom. And this condition is called the hold up. Basically, the liquid is getting hold up inside the system or accumulating in the system. Basically, it becomes a somewhat transient process. Whatever the liquid is coming from the top, all the liquid are not being able to come down, part of it are accumulating into it. Okay? This is called a hold up situation. And if you go on increasing the velocity, this hold up will go on increasing. So, 10 percent, then 20 percent hold up, 30 percent, 40 percent, 60 percent. 80 percent, 90 percent, 100 percent hold up means when that is because 8, 90 percent means very few spaces will be there because as the hold up decreases also the channels for the gas also decreasing and the friction further increases. Okay, channel of the gas increases and then this aggravate the process and finally, you will have a 100 percent hold up and beyond that what will happen if you increase the gas velocity then this liquid will be physically pushed up this liquid will be physically pushed up, then liquid instead of coming down they will move up because the gas thrust is much greater than that of the order the liquid is coming under gravity. So, basically all the liquid will move up that condition is called the flooding condition. You can see that is this from the laboratory experiment that is the pressure drop is given on y axis millimeter of water and 
on x axis is the air velocity in the meter per second. So, what you will find this is from the literature, this is what you can find from Ecubitius, we have taken it. So, you can find that uh, these are the two lines you can find, okay. <coughs> yeah, these are basically two different liquid throughput. Basically, one is that liquid throughput means that is the volume of the liquid that is coming in per meter square per hour, that is the liquid throughput. So, for 201 and this is the 150. So, higher this is the higher liquid throughput and this is the lower liquid throughput, but both the cases you can find A represent the condition of holding. So, when the gas velocity increases, say for uh, gas velocity increases for 200 uh, liquid throughput, that is the when it is say 0 0.6, 0 0.62 something or 0 0.6 around, then holding take place. And when the liquid throughput is 150, the holding take place at little higher velocity, okay, because liquid throughput is less. So, it is around 0.9, but A is the line showing the hold up starting. This is the start of hold up of the liquid. That is the liquid are not being able to come down because of friction. They are accumulating inside the bed, right. So, this is the A condition is condition for the loading and obviously, if your liquid throughput is higher than loading, holding take place little earlier at lower velocity. And when the liquid throughput is less, then holding start taking place little at higher velocity, right. So, now this is the condition of uh, holding and you can find B, this is the condition of flooding. This is the condition of flooding, you can find that the flooding is relatively take place in this condition and also for the high liquid throughput that is 200 meter cube per meter square hour liquid throughput. In that case, the flooding is taking place at around 0 0.9 okay, meter per second velocity. For 150, the flooding take place little higher velocity. So, it is around more than 1 meter per second. Okay. So, this is what B represent the your uh, flooding limit. So, if for any pack bed, for a particular pack bed and uh, depending on the solid size shape distribution and the liquid flow rate, you exist, there exists a certain velocity at which holding starts and another velocity at which higher velocity at which the flooding starts. So, for bed, it is there. So, A basically represents the loading and B represents the flooding, okay, flooding limit. So, now next we go to, because beyond that, beyond the velocity, the flooding will take place, okay. Now, let us, uh, this is I have drawn basically for you to understand the flooding mechanism in the blast furnace. You can find very nicely, you can, so this is the stack region and then here is a belly you can find and there is a, it is the boss region and there is below is the heart. Different zone you try to understand and this is the cohesive zone as I have drawn. And red region basically it is an alternate layer of fused mass of iron and slag and then followed by a coke slit, then fused mass, mass of iron and slag and followed by a coke slit. So, this is the cohesive zone. And uh, you have the raceway here just at the bottom of the boss. This is the raceway and from raceway gas are coming like this and they are passing through the coke slit and going to the top doing in the upper in the furnace and similarly another gas channel is coming and then it is passing through this coke slit and passing through here another gas channel is coming and passing through this coke slit going up here. So, basically the gas is covering the whole cross section through different coke slits that are positioned, some of them positioned near the periphery, some of them positioned near the center. So, through this coke slit the gas is moving up. And as I said, and this this is the uh, softened mass. There's the liquid droplet you can find here and here. They are crossing through this coke bed, right? Percolating. This is the percolating liquid. They are percolating through the coke bed, and then finally, uh, coke bed, and finally they are depositing at the heart. And you can find there is also dead man coke is also here. Dead man coke Jones is also here, and liquid is also crossing through the loose coke bed above the dead man coke bed and then through the dead man coke bed and then finally uh, depositing at the heart. And I am calling the coke bed above the dead man coke bed is the loose coke bed because this is the coke and finally they move and finally come to the raceway and they get burned. 
uh, while the dead man cocks remain inactive as you know because the oxygen that does not reach in the dead man coke zones and this is the this is the floating dead man uh, there is a dead man I have shown you. Anyway, so this is dead man cokes. Okay. That this is the liquid then percolate through the loose coke bed and the dead man coke bed and finally they get stored at the bottom of the furnace called the heart. Uh, anyway, so now what happens if I just increase the velocity, blast, blast velocity to increase the productivity. Suppose I want to increase some more uh, without further any friction in the blast furnace, whatever the first furnace were running very fine, now smoothly, now I want to produce little more. So, I increase the uh, blast rate, normal meter cube per meter square per hour, whatever. So, I want to increase the blast rate. So, if I increase the blast rate, what will happen? The similar phenomena as we have seen in the pack bed, here also the same thing can happen. What will happen? Then the liquid also will get the resistance to come down. It will not be as smooth as in this case one, when the velocity was relatively low, this frictional resistance was such that the liquid had no problem. It was forming and dropping through the bed and then depositing at the heart. But when I increase the velocity, then the liquid is finding some resistance to come down. As a result, what will happen? They will start accumulating inside the coke bed. Inside the coke bed, they will start accumulating. Also, they will occupy a part of the coke slit through which the gas is passing. Because this liquid are not being able to come and then the coke slit also can be the liquid can, can stay in the coke slit also. So, they can occupy a portion of the coke slit. That is why you can find the coke slit is partially filled up. This, these are the coke slit partially filled up. This is the white coke slit. A part of it is occupied by the liquid. That is why it is partially filled up. Here also partially filled up. Okay. So, these are the partially filled up coke slits and liquid also accumulated in the coke bed also. right? Now, but the process is going on. Now, still the gas is finding path through the coke slit where there is no liquid accumulation. It is also finding path. The only thing is that gas velocity may increase and also the pressure drop has increased into the system. The pressure drop has increased here. Now, if we just further increase the velocity. Now, if we just further increase the velocity, we can have some situation where all the coke bed as well as the coke slit will be filled up by the liquid. A situation has come where the there is the, the, the thing is that what I say the liquid hold up here it may be say 20 percent and then if you increase the velocity it may be 40, 40 percent hold up then 60 percent hold up 80 percent hold up then further increase in velocity there may be a case where 100 percent hold up that is the V3 is the case after long time that is the you increase the velocity. So, basically from V2 to V3 it has passed through different uh, stages that is the 20 percent hold up, 40 percent hold up, 60 percent hold up, 80 percent hold up and then the 100 percent hold up where liquid are not being able to come down. It has occupied most of the coke slit has been occupied by the liquid and the coke bed is also completely filled with the liquid. Okay. So, think is that some some tries that is the not 100 percent but 90 percent is in the case anyway. So, so everything is hold up there is a 100 percent will also situation may come. So, then the gas is not finding any path to move through. Then what will happen? It will basically physically physically thrust when the gas velocity is sufficient, it is physically thrust the liquid to move to the upper region. So, now in this case you can find the liquid has flooded the upper solid granular region. Upper solid granular region has been flooded by the liquid. And then what will happen when the liquid comes to a zone, upper zone, granulated zone where the temperature is less, then liquid will solidify because it liquid will instantaneously lose the heat at the cold environment and it will lose its heat, latent heat and also solidify. If the liquid, so flooding take place, beyond flooding the immediate phenomena that take place is the solidifying of the liquid and this in this region, they will make an arch over it. So, they will make a solid arch and then solid will not allow any gas to move off because it is a solid arch, it is a solid wall has formed at the top. So, it will not further allow any gas to move off and that condition is called the hanging 
and it is called the furnace refuses to accept any air blast. So that is the condition. And if the hanging take place, the problem is that it is very difficult to rectify. One thing you can do, you can burn more coke and then somehow you have to melt the, you have to melt the arch and then only the furnace can operate, right. So now understanding this, this now quantification, that is people has done some quantification using the shaded correlationship. This is the very well known relationship in chemical engineering. This is a lot of things are coming from chemical engineering and there is a physical basically quantification of the flooding in this form f square k is must be greater than or equal to 0 0.001 where f is called the flooding factor and it is a function of gas velocity, coke surface area, density of solid liquid, density of gas liquid and the viscosity of the liquid and bed voyage. So, this is f is the flooding factor is a function of different operating parameter like this and k is the fluid ratio, it is basically a ratio of the liquid throughput to the gas throughput. Liquid is coming from the top, gas is going from the bottom to the top and that, that ratio is called the fluid ratio. A into rho g by rho l to the bar half, this factor is also there is combined it is called the fluid ratio. And if f square k greater than this, then the flooding will take place, it is the pack weight phenomena and there has been the, the, this, uh, this, this relation has come from a very, very lot of database, experimental database. So, it is a very, very reliable correlation f square k greater than this, then in the pack bed the flooding will take place. Now, this equation has been applied to the blast furnace also. So, you have can find this is the flooding factor and this is the fluid ratio and f square k is greater than 0 0.001 beyond this line. So, if any data point is here, then it is prone to the flooding. If data point below it, they are not prone to the flooding. And these are the different data from various furnaces and it follows basically a nice, this is the serial correlationship. You can find most of the furnaces that are operating uh, because they are, there is no flooding because smooth furnace. So, obviously, you can understand all the data is falling below it. So, they are a good furnace, only one data is there, it little off. So, this is following, this correlation is very much followed. Um, so, flooding ratio, uh, there is a flooding factor to the fluid ratio and you can find with increase in the fluid ratio, this line is coming down. That means, the flooding will occur at, uh, flooding will occur easily. That is, the propensity of the flooding is increasing. That means, this line is coming down with increase in the fluid ratio. Basically, when the liquid throughput increases, obviously, at a particular gas flow rate, if you increase the liquid throughput, then you likely, there is the flooding tendency is supposed to be higher. That is why this line is coming down. Okay. And uh, this L and G is called the superficial uh, mass flow rate of the liquid and superficial gas flow rate of the fluid. This is the kg per meter square hour for the liquid and that will for the gas. And I have defined this thing that is the Fs is the specific surface area of the coke. Basically, the surface area of the coke per unit volume of the bed and B is the superficial gas velocity normal meter cube per meter square second. Normal stands for at normal temperature and pressure, not at the blast furnace temperature and pressure. So, when I write the velocity, superficial velocity, I represent in terms of normal temperature and pressure that is normal meter cube per meter square per hour. And if you want to convert to it, the actual velocity inside the blast furnace, then you have to calculate the blast rate, the blast volume under blast furnace condition. Okay. Epsilon is the gas voidage and mu is the liquid velocity, rho is the density. Now, let us see there is a factor affecting, there is a factor, uh, the effect of operating parameters on the flooding in blast furnace. There is a what are the factors disfavoring flooding. Okay, if you do not want to, if you want to disfavor the flooding, I will write this way. This is the flooding equation that I have shown you. And if you want to disfavor the flooding, that is flooding, if you want flooding does not occur, then what you will do? One is the gas velocity should be low, obviously. Higher the gas velocity, higher is the flooding factor propensity for the flooding is more. So, lower gas velocity is one. Lower surface area of coke per unit volume of the bed or the small, there is a smaller size coke. Now, that is the disfavoring is the bigger size coke, sorry. Lower surface area means you should have a bigger size coke. So, or the bigger size coke will be required. That is why that is the 
in the blast furnace cook is charged at a size of 90 millimeter where road is charged at a size of 40 millimeter. Basically in the dry zone more uniform size better is the permeability, but we have to keep this difference uh, keeping in mind when the coke comes down in the wet zone their size is not reduced very low okay because bigger size coke is good to restrict the flooding okay and also we have found that size difference in the wood and coke in the top part uh, that size ratio is around 0.44 uh, or 2.5 and if they form the mixed bed also in that case the pressure drop doesn't increase that much okay so this much of size difference is kept but obviously, if you have a very uniform size in the upper part of the furnace, permeability will be better in the dry zone. But in the further keeping in mind for the top zone, the coke size is usually kept high such that when they come in the wet zone, the coke size remain considerably big that does not hamper the flooding situation. So, and the, the lower viscosity of the slag that is also good, that is that if the viscosity is less your propensity for the flooding will be less because you can find higher the viscosity higher is the flooding factor mechanically you can understand physically if you understand obviously lower viscosity the slack flowability will be better so slack can easily flow down the uh, coke bed then you should have heavier slack if the slag is heavy obviously by gravity it will easily come down and uh, higher coke void, coke void, more the coke void that is your obviously voidage is more than you have passage for the liquid can easily pass through it and the lower slag volume, slag volume that is why the slag volume obviously the fluid ratio dictates the slag volume should be as low as possible, higher the slag volume chances of flooding will be much more. So, because the fluid ratio, so fluid ratio will be less if you have less slag volume and you will have a less chance. And also non weighting slag, it has been found non weighting slag, those slag does not weight too much, the coke or the seda that is better for the uh, restricting the your flooding. So, major reference is basically the Ekevishas, very nicely uh, done in the Ekevishas book. And what are the conclusion? One thing is that increase in pressure drop in the weight zone leads to the holding and flooding, okay, pressure drop. In the weight zone, the major phenomena is the uh, holding, flooding and hanging, okay. Some corrective measures as I said they decrease the gas velocity and charging low gang iron burden such that it does not create too much of slack and then evolving the less viscous non weighting and heavier slack. You adjust the composition in such a way such that you can evolve this type of slag, boss slag just like this and ensure the bigger coke in the weight zone that is why we have to charge little bigger coke, 90 millimeter coke, we charge the blast furnace. Okay, this is all for this lecture. Thank you.